Hey, what's going on guys? Chum here from Fusion Squad, and today we are back with episode 51 of our Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. So if you guys saw the last episode, which was our 50th, our half century, our monumental um, milestone for the series, uh, you will know that we went looking for Blaine, and he's not here, because if you look around, you can see this entire island has been destroyed. So we're on Cinnabar Island right now, but the volcano erupted, and you know, Blaine's gym did not have a good time about it. However, I've done my research and found out that Blaine has since relocated to the Seafoam Islands. So that is where we're heading today, and once again, with Umbreon in the front of the party, because he is tied for the lowest level. And I would like Umbreon or Midnight to get some levels and just kick some butt. So Route 20, we already grabbed our encounter, and I believe it may even be what this Pokemon is. It was indeed a Paris, otherwise I wouldn't have one. Regardless. We are going to move on. Probably battle some trainers like this guy. I have a... I would know if I battled him if I didn't run into another Paris. God damn, leave me alone, man. Just chill. So I haven't battled this man. But we are going to battle him right now. And we're going to show him his box. Because he said something about Johto, which I didn't read. Nor did I think was in any way important. And we have a Bonsai here, which is not a threat whatsoever. Unless it somehow knows counter, which I doubt it. Sucker Punch. You think you're a threat, mate? I am a Dark type. Do you even know who I am? I am Midnight. I am your Deathbringer. Don't even challenge me, Fan Lawrence. And now, we move on to catch, not catch, to battle this lady. <laughs> I feel like that's what she was saying. No idea if that's the truth or not. Technician Rachel with Dun Sparse. Now, this Pokemon has always baffled me. Like, I, I don't know what this is, or what this is meant to be, or why this exists. I always felt like this thing just deserves an amazing dragon-type evolution. Like, could you imagine, like, a supreme, like, dragon mega evolution of Dunsparce? It'd be amazing. And I think that th this should happen. Game Freak, you heard it here first. Mega Dun- I'm probably not first. I'm sure other people thought of Mega Dunsparce. But legit, like, an amazing, powerful dragon-type Pokemon as a Dunsparce evolution would be sick. Actually, speaking of that and the fact that Dun I think Dunsparce should have an evolution, I want you guys to let me know what Pokemon you guys think deserves a second stage or another stage in its evolutionary line. So, and I'm not talking about Mega Pokemon, because I have previously asked, like, you know, what other Mega Pokemon would you like to see? Um, I don't know why I'm switching into um, Duckface, but I think it's relevant. I, I believe it said Mankey. He did say Mankey. Regardless, yeah. So I'm not talking Mega Evolution. I've already asked that before. Which Pokemon would you want to add an evolution to? Uh, sorry, a Mega Evolution. I've already asked that. But what I'm talking about is just a regular evolution. So it's like saying, oh, you know, I like um, Pinsa. But I think, like Sizzle, Pinsa should have a Metal Code evolution. Or maybe you like... Who do you like? Who doesn't have an evolution? Maybe you think Mr. Mime should have a next stage? I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to find Pokemon that don't have a single evolution. Dude, Farfetch'd? Hello, Farfetch'd is having an evolution. What is happening? I don't know what's coming out here. I'm too busy talking about this question. But yeah, I think Farfetch'd... Like, my entire childhood, purely due to the fact that Farfetch'd is placed before Doduo and Dodrio, I thought that Farfetch'd was the previous stage of Doduo. Now, I know it sounds stupid, right? Because you look at them and they don't seem in any way the same. But just because Do Doduo has two heads, Dodrio has three heads, and Farfetch'd has one head, they're all the same typing. I just, for some reason, figured, hey, you know what? Maybe it evolves into uh, Doduo. You know, I was, I played this game as a mere boy. I was, what, like five at the time? So, you know, don't judge me. But, I mean, of course, now I know better. Do I want to battle these guys? I mean, why not? It's experience. No, stop. I don't want to battle you, Paris. Get out. Get out of my house. And it looks like I don't have a choice if I wanted to change my mind. It's too late, because when I was a kid, I only played inside the house. Now I love playing outside with Pokemon. It's true. When I was a kid, I only played Pokemon inside the house. Not true. I did play outside. I love playing outside. Now all I do is play inside with Pokemon. So I guess nothing's really changed much. I mean, the time I'm outside, it's a good uni and various, you know, work-related stuff. Regardless, we got Slash, and it did nothing, because Diglett is a little, little pansy who can't hit very hard. You know what really shocks me to this day still? Onyx used to be a fearsome Pokemon. And then you find out that Onyx has a base 45 attack that is lower than Oddish? Nah, I can't handle that. 
and like I don't know why I'm bringing this up now, but it's just it, it, it comes to my mind every single time I think of a weak Pokemon. I'm like, bruh, why is Onyx so weak? If I could answer and say that Onyx is as an evolution, I would, but he already has one, so you know. And Silix is really awesome. And Mega Silix is even more awesome, dude, legit. Mega Silix is badass. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments below what kind of Pokemon, not what kind of Pokemon, what Pokemon you would like to see be given a next stage evolution. Maybe even like, um, give Eeveelutions another evolution. Imagine like, um, I don't know, Jolteon, Eon, whatever the hell you'd name the next stage up. That'd be awesome, I'd like to see that. In fact, I'd, li I'd really like to see Mega Evolutions for all the Eeveelutions. Of course, this is not on topic of the question, but I think it'd be cool. Or even like, if they were to give Eeveelutions a Mega Evolution, It'd be cool if just like Latias and Latios, they kind of converge into one creature. So like they all they all become the same thing. They just have a different move pool. In fact, they could have it so that um, giving it a certain move set will change the moves into a new move. So like um, I believe that's how they do things with the Rotoms. When they change forms, a specific move slot changes something else. I think it's really cool to see that. Um, regardless, um, what did it say was coming out? I have no idea. I'm just gonna go into um, West Side. West Side's a good bet every time, right? But yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool if they had like one evolution that represented all evolutions, as that was the Mega Form. Like it was basically Mega Eevee, but not really. And how do it's coming out? So Westside was the right choice. Look at that subliminal messaging, and look at this quick claw combo. So we don't even have to take a hit from this Houndoom. It just gets body. Like there's no tomorrow. Regardless, Swimmer Stacy is done and dusted, and we can move on. Just kidding. We're gonna battle you, which is, I mean, still it's moving on, but we're gonna battle someone instead of. If I couldn't run around that corner, I would have been really sad. And probably wouldn't have battled this person. Hey, hey, will you battle me? I mean, I'm here, and I'm talking to you. I figured this, to anyone that would mean I want to battle you. But yeah, I do want to battle you. With your mill tank, who do you think you are? Huh? You ain't the third gym leader whose name escapes me right now. What is her name? All I can think of is Joey Pokegame. What is her name? Let me know in the comments below because I've forgotten. Whitney, Whitney's her name. Don't let me know in the comments below because I remember. But Whitney was an ass. I, w I meant to like go Pokemon, not quick attack. Stop. Stop touching me. Who can burn this thing up? I say that, and obviously I mean Duckface because he's the only one who like. I mean, everyone knows Fire type move, but he's like stab and all that jazz. In fact, I'm pretty certain that um because of Overheat's power, I think. If Jolteon and Duckface are the same special attack, Jolteon is stronger with a fire type move than an actual resident fire type, which makes no sense. I mean, it does make sense, but still. It's kind of God damn it. See you in two seconds, guys. Man, I don't know why. I just I just pressed the button too much. I I, I speed up way too much, and it causes random glitches. And it, I don't, what, one thing I don't understand. Like, I've seen Shady Penguin series. You guys know this. You've known this for a while, you guys. I bring this up a lot. You guys know I'm a fan of Shady Penguin. Every time he has a random glitch, he just goes into his bag and it's undone. No, I have to reset my goddamn ROM. Alright. This is, this is this is unfair. This is not what life is meant to be like. This is just inequality. I'm not okay with it. I mean, he has a beard. I have a beard. You can't confirm that. But trust me, I have a beard. And it's just, it's just, it's not fair. Like, I, I, don't, I will not stand for this. Okay? I demand equality in Pokemon emulation. Regardless, we're battling someone now, so we can fag it, fag it. We can forget about equality and battle Technician Jasmine with her Cacturn. That's power that I'm afraid of a little bit. Not really. Forget the level 44, and I mean, come on. What's there to be afraid of? Fire. That did a lot of damage. Wasn't I in full health? I guess Cacturn is not anything to scoff at. Regardless. Armbrun gets a level, and Duckface gets a level. Man, we're powering through this. I feel like nothing's stopping us. We're, we're just going to... I want to I want to read the sign first. I can. Somebody put a notice under the sign. Cinnabar Jim has moved here. Leader Blaine. Woo! So we found Cinnabar Jim. Are you in a hurry? How about a really quick battle break? Dude. Legi I'm, I'm... Like, the break isn't the battle. Moving around and not battling things is the break. You don't understand. Aw, look at it. Glaceon. Speaking of Glaceon. We caught a Vaporeon. Recently. Four of seven evolutions available in this game uh, have been caught by us. And I'm just... I'm glad that's some of my favorites. I, I'm a fan of Jolteon. You guys know this. Jolteon's one of my favorite Pokemon. I am a fan of Umbreon. I use it a lot. Actually, one of my friends loves Umbreon as his favorite evolution. His second favorite is... 
Um, Leafeon, I mean, Leafeon's nice. I think I prefer Glaceon. I like ice types. I mean, that's kind of why I like um, Mamoswine, as I call it, Full Buster. Awesome Pokemon. Regardless, Glaceon goes down. Not a problem. I mean, our levels are too strong for this. Um, regardless, what we're going to do, we're going to heal up. And that's not how you heal up, because this isn't Gen, y, Gen Y. This, I mean, this might be Gen Y. I'm imagining many of you Pokemon players are Gen Y. Um, actually, no, there's no way. I mean, you know, uh, it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to get a potion from a bag, because unlike Gen 6, which is what I meant, not Gen Y as in X and Y, in uh, Gen 6, you can heal by going Pokemon and Restore, but you can't do that in this. It, show, it goes to show that Pokemon is evolving. Not just the Pokemon itself, but the game. Now let's go in here and get our gym badge from Blaine. Is he going to be right inside here? He better be. He be I better not have to find him. Okay, change right here. Hey, bro. Yo, legend in the making. This gym has many trains of rocks in the way from the rebuilding. I'm sure it'll be easy to get to Blaine, but keep your cool and defeat trainers one by one. You'll surely find the path. What does he mean? A white lab coat is a researcher's life. He may be living in a cave like this, but we never forget to do the laundry. I don't know what you mean, man. I literally, I'm pretty certain I've never done this gym before. I told you at the beginning of the series that I've never really reached red and done all that stuff. Because, um, completing the Elite Four would signify the end of the game to me as a kid. And so I wouldn't go past it. Or at least I'd barely go past it. So I feel like I've never done this. At least not in Soul Silver. I may have touched it in regular silver, but then it could have changed. Um, regardless, we're here, and I'm, I'm clueless, and it's great. I feel like now I'm experiencing a lot of things for the first time. Like, even... Whose gym was it? It was someone's gym. No, not Misty's gym. A gym after that. Not Future City gym. Not Sabrina's gym. No one's gym. Never mind. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone's gym is the same. What am I talking about? Anyway. Blaine not being at his gym is, is new to me. This white lab coat makes me feel like I've become smarter for some reason. And then he steps- Ooh, he steps back! He steps back! We lost the gym on Cinnabar Island. And we lost before he, we came here. Wait, what? I didn't know- I don't think I read that right. Don't think- a red, Rich boy Rachel! With Caterpie! I mean, they have type advantage. So I'm a switch. Cause I'm, I'm not about taking that damage. Not about taking that damage. Do -do -do damage. Do -do 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 damage. You know, I'm in this mindset right now. So you guys know that in the last week we caught some amazing, amazing Pokemon. Like, just to spoil it, if you haven't go seen it, go check it out. You can see which ones are amazing encounters. It literally says like one of the title best encounters so far, and the other one's called True sure Encounter Hype. Like you'll know. But we caught a Mewtwo. We caught a Kyogre. We caught a Suicune, and we caught a Garchomp. For the first time in the series, I am 100% okay. 100% okay. With losing Pokemon. Yeah, I said it. Hello? You wanna chill, mate? Jeez. No, I'm, picking, I'm, not, I'm not playing games. I'm not playing games at all. Bringing out my highest level Pokemon here, we're gonna destroy you. You can't use that move. Now nah, get out. Stop charging. Charging not okay with me. Ancient power. Did he really get the 10% boost? Did he get the 10% boost to get? Stop hacking. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm done. I'm done with Zapdos forever now. I'm just kidding. I love Zapdos. I always loved Zapdos. I've always had a thing for electric types. You know. I've always liked Jolteon of the evolutions. I've always loved Zapdos of the what do you call it? of the, the legendary bird trio. I mean, I haven't had a thing for Raikou. I mean, I like Raikou and all, but he's not as fun as Suicune. Maybe just because Suicune really stood out more in the story. Wait, bruh, why can't you let me... Oh, uh, bruh. bruh. What? What? Wait. What's this guy over here, then? How am I meant to get to him? How am I meant to get to him? I think they step back in the direction that... No, let's, let's find out. I Let's find out. Do they step directly backwards, or do they step in the direction that they were initially facing? I'm not sure, because I may have to walk all the way around Blaine. I believe I do. I was thinking that this guy would let me in, but he won't. They all have one Pokemon, and they all seem to be weak to Fire-type. At least, wait, they don't have all have one Pokemon, do they? Have they? 
I feel like I had to switch at one point. Like, not like this kind of switch, but like a... Everyone stop hitting Duckface with powerful moves, okay? He's not enjoying it, okay? Look how powerful Magma is. I can't deal with it. I cannot deal with how powerful Magma is. I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm, I'm just... Uh, today, blame and reveal. Just kidding. Wait, I don't have to battle you, do I? I can just... Never mind. I already talked to you, so I can't not battle you. You're challenged by a cool trainer, Stacy. With a Salamence. That's like one of the few pseudo-legendaries we haven't got in the series. Actually, have we even got pseudo-legendaries? We have, we have Tyranitar? No, we had. We have Pupitar. <gasps> or Lavatar, one of the two. And we have... What's his name? He has a name and I can't remember it. We're going to Butthead. We're going to Roar of Time this thing. We ain't taking no chances. We have Garchomp, obviously. I'd love to get Salamence. Honestly, I've always found Salamence to war the place. Do you reckon we're faster or slower than Salamence? I think we're slower than Salamence. We're going to Roar of Time. We are slower. I was actually surprised. Not going to lie. Because we are... We're low level, just kidding, I thought we were high level. These Pokemon get stronger and stronger each turn. Please just fly again so I can't hit you. Please just do it. Gone. It doesn't even matter. Salamence sends nothing against the roar of time. I have another one of those TMs, don't I? That's how broken I am right now. I have another one of those TMs. I didn't expect you to be so good. Who in the world are you? You know I realized? We have a special Ren TM. That I haven't used. I always forget these things and I realize it's the power that I have. I'm gonna teach that to someone. I'm gonna figure out who can learn it first. I don't know what move it was actually. All I know is its power. Artillery, I mean, we'll go into Jolteon because we want to preserve PP on Midnight as well. Why does everything in here no ring out? Like, come on, guys, calm down. Ice Beam. I was a bit scared there, not gonna lie. In fact, if I missed that attack, I really think that he could have killed me. Which is kind of scary. But we didn't. Because Jotun's not going to die that easy. I didn't win. Of course you didn't. Hello, have you met me? I'm the champion of Johto. Hello? Hello? Let's quickly heal up. Everyone's taking hits. I'm done. Everyone has been cooked right now. West side. Next up we have Bothead. Look at everyone but Umbreon. Umbreon literally just came in, switched out, and got experience. Like, Umbreon's trolling today. We have three potions left. I don't think that's all we need for this, though. I think, I think Blaine can't be that tough. However, as always, you guys know what we're going to do is we're going to make sure Umbreon face Blaine because it looks cooler. But what we're going to do is we're going to save Dame. Save Dame? We're going to save our game because only you can prevent, prevent, only you can prevent lost save data in the words of the great Nappy or King Nappy, whatever you want to call him. Regardless, I haven't hit the overwrite button and I'm rambling on as if I have. But once we're done, once we're done bowing to the rock behind us, or in front of us now, but behind us now again. We're gonna talk to Blaine. And he's gonna battle us. Hey you! My gym on Cinnabar Island was burned down by the eruption. But I won't give up. Take a look at this cave. We turned into a gym, and I am still acting as a gym leader. I'll give you the gym badge if you manage to defeat me. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow, doing that voice kinda killed me, and it wasn't even a good voice. Swimmer Forest. Of course, the fire type gym leader's name is Forest, and of course, you have a pigeon. Level 54. 54. I was talking about how I think this LP might be a bit of a, a breeze from here on out, but maybe not. If they have level 54 pigeons. We've got no experience in that. What? Charmeleon? That is power. That is power. You know what? For the next Nuzlocke I do. If it's going to be just me, of course, um, me and KJ are in talks about doing a uh, a Platinum rerun, I guess. Revenge on Platinum Nuzlocke, where we both play together again, like a co-op, like I talked about a couple episodes ago. We're in talks of that. However, if I ever do a solo Nuzlocke again, I'm going to turn off the um, shift set thing. The shift battle style. It's, it's, too, it's too easy. I think that we, they should all be like real training battles. I'm pretty sure it might be one of the rules that you have to be on shift. Uh, sorry, you have to be on set, meaning that you can't switch Pokemon like I am right now. It doesn't warn you, hey, this is coming out. Would you like to switch? Instead, it just sends it out just like it would in a real Wi-Fi battle or an online battle. Regardless, it's here now. We're not going to change it. But for the next series, I probably will, and I'll make it a little bit harder. And in fact, we'll probably make it a little more fun. Despite the fact that we had lots of deaths early on, this, this LP has been very death-light for the last week or two. Which, as the person who's running the LP and wants it to go on forever... Oh my god, the power. I mean, he's not stabbed, I'm not scared. But you have Dragon Pulse. I mean, you're level 59, of course you have Dragon Pulse. But uh, yeah, as the person who's actually doing the LP and trying to win, 
it's great that I haven't lost any Pokemon, but as an entertainer, somebody who's trying to bring you guys some fun stuff, it'd be a lot more enjoyable for me, and I'm sure for you guys, if we ended up um, beating Blaine that easily. Wow, I wasn't even paying attention. I literally was not paying attention. I'm just in my own world right now. Regardless, we got $7,800. $7,080. Awesome. I burnt out. Take this Volcano Badge. There you have it, guys. We have the Volcano Badge in the layout. The second last gym badge in the entire game. Which is amazing. Here, I'll also give you this move. It's called Overheat. It has a slight drawback, but it's powerful and well worth it. TM50. Let's see who can learn this. Let's see who can learn this. I did lose this time, but I'm going to win next time. When I rebuild Cinnabar, we have to. We have to hold a rematch. So that was Blaine. Not too difficult, not too easy. Um, actually, I'm, no, he was too easy. But, yeah. Um, we're good to go. And I'm going to go down here. I'm probably going to fly back to Cinnabar. And I'm going to have a chat with our good mate. No, I'm not. I'm going to catch a Pokemon. This is Seafoam Island. I haven't been here yet. We're going to catch a Pokemon. It's going to be a drum roll, please. I'm going to listen for it. <gasps> no way. That's Lucario, isn't it? Or at least Ryolu. Please tell me I'm right. <gasps> Level 34, Luca. I'm done. Are you kidding me? Is this four times resisted? No, that is nothing. I'm not even afraid. This spam. Look at him do nothing to me. Armborn is too strong. Uh, okay. Um, I feel like I don't want to take another hit from this guy, so we're going to switch to west side. But oh my god, the power. Garchomp, Lucario, Suicune, Kyoko, those are our last encounters. Are you kidding me? Wait, no, it's gonna be at Paris as well, which is kind of lame. But, but, oh my goodness. We can build a second team of true power. I'm done. This LP is nuts. Now get in the ball and just stay in the ball. Don't even, don't even. Ready? 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 Jiggle? Just jam. Come on, man. Why would you why would you break out of the first one and be like boom I'm staying in maybe maybe the speed up's just too fast from the shake out of it. who knows regardless Lucario the aura Pokemon it is said that no one can remain invisible to Lucario since it can detect auras even if always it could not otherwise see Makes sense invisible people can't hide from Lucario now. I have a name that I always call this thing This thing's a steel type Pokemon of course, and it is blue Steel is a type of metal. Another type of metal is Cobalt, which is often represented as blue by the Cobalt Eagle from Yu-Gi-Oh. So we have Cobalt, the Lucario. Ban. Straight to box one. Just kidding. Straight to box two. We have Lucario in the game. And I'm hyped. These encounters have gotten better. Kanto, South Kanto is nuts. I mean, Viridian Forest is South Kanto. Viridian Forest is Mewtwo. Fuchsia, everything around Fuchsia is South Kanto. It was nuts. Seafoam Islands is South Kanto. It is Lucario. I'm done. Regardless, we are going to fly. And we're going to go to Cinnabar. And I believe Blue might still be there. And he'll be like, hey, bruh, you have seven gym badges. Fight me at my gym in Viridian City. So let's see if he's still here. He might not be. He could easily just teleport it off because the game tends to do that sort of stuff. Yeah, Blue's still here. If you want to battle me for real, come to the Viridian gym. I'll be waiting for you. So that was a dramatic cutscene with Blue. Just kidding, not really, it was kind of bland. Regardless, the hype. The hype is real. Because next episode, we're going to get our final gym badge. And maybe if I'm feeling up to it, I might grind up a new Pokemon to join the party because I really want to use one of Garchomp, Lucario, or one of the legendaries. Um, but it, um, whatever happens, I won't be grinding up the legendary just yet. Because I have something I want to ask you guys in the next episode that will relate to how I build the team. So. If you want to, if you want to have an impact on how I build a team, make sure you check out next episode. And you can do that by subscribing, because you'll see the new episode as it comes out. And with that shameless plug train going on, I want to make sure you guys know that I hope you enjoyed this episode, and that I think you should like the video if you're still here because you're amazing. And if you are still here, make sure you leave that hashtag, which is going to be the hype continues because the encounter hype is still here. It is still here, regardless. One final note, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.